Escape follows two friends on a dream vacation to Fuerteventura that quickly turns into a nightmare. The pair is kidnapped by a human trafficking ring and taken to a remote desert island where they must use their wits and strength to survive and as the title suggests, escape. The film focuses on the intense cat and mouse game between the victims and their abductors, escalating the tension with every scene. Escape feels like a clear homage to the Grindhouse films of the 1970s and 1980s. It's gritty, raw style, complete with over-the-top violence, lurid close-ups, and an unrelenting pace mirrors the aesthetic of those low-budget exploitation films. Director Howard J. Ford leans into the genre's signature elements, embracing its pulpy, unapologetically grim tone. The film's use of intense action sequences and the survival horror elements make it a modern-day love letter to Grindhouse, tapping into the nostalgia for viewers who enjoy a gritty, unpolished cinematic experience we're in the home stretch nearly at 50,000 subscribers so please do keep hitting that subscribe button if you haven't done so already i still see over 90 percent of you watch my content without subscribing guys just hit that subscribe button it's free it helps me so much and allows me to keep bringing you the content that you guys are watching so go ahead and do all that let's get back to the video now as always as i say every single time when we're discussing what is essentially independent cinema you do have to allow a certain level of accept uh, a certain level of leeway you have to look at it with a different lens than you would look at a major mainstream blockbuster when it's one of those funny things, isn't it? When you seem to put a lot of money behind something, you naturally seem to be that much more critical because obviously more resources were pulled to create the piece of art. But when it's admirably done on what is ultimately quite a shoestring budget, with respectfully to the cast involved, you know, Sarah Alexandra Marx will be on the channel in the coming days doing an interview with me. We're not talking about Tom Cruise and Helen Mirren and DiCaprio and Meryl Streep. These are not a-list actors and yet the beauty and joy with independent cinema is more often than not you see the start of these careers blossoming charlotte kirk who was on the channel recently for instance has blown up over the last few weeks and months michael head is the flavor of the you know flavor of the year when it comes to british cinema and rightfully so friend of the channel you always have to look at independent cinema as finding a kind of diamond in the rough and also seeing the start of something or someone very special be it in a genre or an actor or an actress or a director whichever if you view it like that there's a lot of enjoyment to be found in independent cinema though i appreciate it does sound i'm being somewhat apologetic here but you have to be apologetic to consume it and enjoy it as it is intended in Escape, Sophie Rankin and Sarah Alexandra Marx deliver compelling performances that do indeed elevate the film, grounding it in their raw emotion and determination. Rankin brings a fierce intensity to her role, while Marx complements with a nuanced portrayal of vulnerability and grit, making their dynamic the emotional core of the movie. The supporting cast struggles to match their energy with, mo with most other performances falling and feeling sadly flat and underdeveloped, which does detract from the overall impact of the ensemble. Their strong work is unfortunately not enough to compensate for the lack of depth in the secondary characters. But I do say, Sophie Rankin and Sarah Alexandra Marx really are on top form here, and you, you can tell that there's a big career ahead for these two young ladies. The desert setting in Escape serves as a compelling backdrop amplifying the film's isolation and danger. The vast barren landscape feels hostile and unyielding, making it an unforgiving environment for the characters to survive in. Its desolation mirrors the psychological tension within the narrative, where survival becomes both a mental and physical challenge. The desert's harsh conditions and endless horizons create a sense of claustrophobia despite its open space, enhancing the stakes and making it the perfect setting for a suspense-driven story like Escape. Escape does everything right in terms of box ticking when it comes to genre conventions and pacing, ensuring that it meets the expectations of its audience. 
especially an audience coming to see a Grindhouse style movie. However, there is an inescapable truth, I've mentioned it already, it is a low budget movie. And in certain ways, it does show. The limitations are evident in some of the production design and some of the gore effects, which do lack the polish of higher budget films. While the movie makes the most of its resources, these constraints sometimes detract from the overall immersion, highlighting the challenges faced by indie filmmakers trying to deliver big thrills on a smaller budget. And you, you, the constraints aren't just on the, the showpiece and on the technical side. You can also see constraints in, even in the writing, to be honest. The backstory that they give to Carla, who Sarah Alexandra Marx plays, is a compelling backstory. The timing with in the movie with which they tell you about her backstory is really misjudged. Not because the backstory isn't compelling, but because the backstory of what motivates and influences her character's decision making only appears at the end of the movie and therefore feels shoehorned in as opposed to having been delivered not right at the beginning, but earlier, so you have a clearer understanding of why her character behaves the way she does. Her story influences and informs her decision making. We didn't get that. That, for instance, was a massive oversight in the writing. There were some ropey editing decisions, but for most part, the movie is enjoyable, man. Like, it's a good final, final girl movie. So given that it's enjoying and given that it is it is, what, it is what it says on the tin. It is a low-budget Grindhouse movie that's not trying to reinvent the wheel, but it's just trying to pay homage to the Grindhouse movies that came before it. What am I going to score this? Listen, it's not ever going to rank highly. I think a fair score, it's somewhere between a five and a half to six for me. I Listen, let's, let's be critical here. Let's just call a spade a spade. I'm going to score Escape a 5.5 out of 10. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't see it. It's worth a watch. It's something different. It's a nice showing that original movies are still being made. And hey, I'm the one here saying that they are and that they should be praised and that even if they don't have a big marketing budget behind them, you should still go and seek out these independent movies because they are the true source of original cinema at the moment. Escape is a love letter to Grindhouse cinema, blending suspense and violence with the signature grit of the genre. Sophie Rankin and Sarah Alexandra Marx deliver standout performances, showcasing their talents in a film that leans heavily on the final girl theory, giving fans of classic horror an anchor to hold on to. The desert setting is a compelling choice, amplifying the isolation and danger that surround the characters. However, the film's budget constraints are visible, particularly in its production quality, reminding us that indie filmmaking often requires balancing creative ambition with financial limitations. Despite its flaws, Escape offers an engaging experience for fans of low-budget horror, capturing the essence of its genre. So as always, over to you guys. I want to hear what you had to say. I apologize for not filming on my high-quality camera tonight. It's really late. I'd need to, I need to get to bed now. I've there's other reviews that have come out today as well and over the last few days so i've been making the content for you i hope it's been appreciated i hope you're enjoying it leave your thoughts in your comments below once you do see escape let me know if you're not going to see it why that might be don't let my score put you off i encourage you to go and make up your own minds about this but yeah as always let's make have a nice healthy positive film discussion there is a subscribe button here another video for you to guys for you guys to go and watch our pick tongue twisted getting my words all tied up because i'm tired so i'll say good night to you all have a lovely weekend and i'll see you all next week for more entertainment talk and movie reviews and tv reviews bye for now